Greetings, mortals, and welcome back to Hollow Knight. So, when last we left off, I was being totally silent, and we had managed to finally find that smith I was looking for, Yarhu. Let's go check in on our girlfriend over here, this girl who is seemingly obsessed with us. It looks like she hasn't had any updates to her journal. Now, why we're breaking into her room while she's sleeping and then, you know, reading her journal, clearly we're just as much of a stalker as she is. But, you know, it's all good. So we've done actually a lot of things on this file that I didn't do on the original file. So that's the Black Egg Temple. Which is on my map for some reason. I'm sure it's important. But we did also get the smith, so things should be a lot simpler now. I could try to go after the, the mantis boss. I imagine the mantis boss is going to be a lot easier on this file because I'm going to be doing twice as much damage with all of my attacks. But I'm actually not feeling quite like I want to go after them yet. Because I want to get a little bit more money, a little bit more geo, and then invest in the range increase. Uh, for my weapon. Because I, I forgot that I should save some money to spend at the charm shop. But do we have any other places? I can't, I can't believe we managed to miss that smith. I have no idea how we managed to not see that guy's house. I feel really embarrassed. Because it's right there. Um, let's see here. So we could actually we could go to the City of Tears and go west to the elevator. So let's go ahead and do that first. Hey, buddy. So, is City Storage? Is that where we're going? By the way. And let's see how this goes. So hopefully the sound balance is correct. It should be based off of about a quarter of a second of testing, which is the optimal amount of time to test. But yeah, these guys, you know, taking two hits to kill makes them substantially easier. So when we get back home and start working off of our main file again, because I don't think that we're going to beat this game on the secondary file, and it would be really sad if we did, honestly, because I don't want to beat the game on a secondary file, I want to do it on the primary file. Because I've just been kind of puttering around on this file, it hasn't been the most... Um, you know, I haven't had the the thing live. I've been having all sorts of problems. I didn't even do the full thing on stream. So. All sorts of problems. Well. Though I guess having all sorts of problems is representative of my live stream as a whole. So it is somewhat appropriate. Okay, so it looks like this is a dead end. We'll just drop down here. And... I had us do this leap of faith that, <laughs> that I then die <laughs> because I got knocked in the air by that guy. Well played. Uh, so we're going to go over here. I figure if we explore a bit, we should be able to get some cool stuff. I wasn't expecting to get that. We'll be able to get some cool stuff. I'm hoping to pick up a bunch of Geo. And be able to use that to good effect. Okay, so... That's, that's just a dead end, it looks like. We could go to the charm shop now, but that seems silly, considering that... Do we have the... I don't think we do, no. So, one of the things that we did, like, very out of order, I think, is that I don't think we were meant to go into that dark dungeon in the first place uh, as early as we did. We were meant to go to the city first when we finished with the, the mantis. Like, once we got the claw... And then instead we went in this extremely weird roundabout path 
which, you know, worked out reasonably fine for us, but was, you know, <laughs> way harder than it had to be. I'm just trying to get a little bit of money. Oops, I'm just gonna go ahead and smack myself in the face. Ow. Oop, shit. That's okay. And yeah, on this file we also have stuff like this shell that we wouldn't put on on the main file because it feels like cheating. But it's interesting because the previous time we definitely went through all of this in a completely different manner. Am I in the wrong way? No, this is fine. This is where we're supposed to be. So we've updated the map. So we're going down one, and then we are just chit chat with this guy. Yeah, no kidding. Let's collect all sorts of trinkets. If we can get another one of those king idols, we should be able to get the the range setup that we have on the other file. Dope. Playing badly, but that's no surprise to anyone who's familiar with me. Okay, so this is going to be some sort of boss chamber, presumably. There we go. Yeah. Oh, right, you. I remember you. Oops. There we go. Oh, wow, these guys are so much easier when you're doing twice as much damage. <laughs> I was before. Oh man. All right, so we could go up here and fight this boss if we want. I don't know that we want to fight this boss right now, but we can at least make a little bit of progress to grab some money. Do I want to pick up? I'm very curious about this whole thing about what's going on. So this is the Soul Sanctum. They've got all these weird monsters lying around. Plus the wizards, obviously. So the wizards are presumably the ones using the soul, and those husk things are probably things that have had their souls stolen by the wizards. Yeah, I'm just gonna go here. Record, oh, the, the mind still limits us so, how to break past its constraints to attain pure focus, is it even possible? Let's see here. This, this way, so we cool. Sorry if the fan's too loud. I'm trying to, oh, Jesus. The other thing that's interesting is that upgrading my weapon has actually reduced the difference in power between my standard attacks and my special attacks. So the sort of niche that, you know, nuking enemies down with spells has been substantially reduced. Well, that's interesting. What the heck was that? I don't remember seeing that guy. So presumably, and we could have gotten in the elevator, but screw that crap. So this is just going to be a boss room. That I just didn't notice the thing the last time. Oh nice, he's a spellbook. I'd forgotten about this guy. He has a lot of HP. 
I can't believe I killed this guy with that previous that old weapon. <laughs> because it just takes so long to bend down him, even with this new one. So we're gonna definitely be spoiled on this attempt on this playthrough. That was a lot of souls, actually. My souls, Geo. Oh shit! Oh, that was dumb to me. That was really dumb to me. Patty's here. As we go. Let's see. So we've got 464 geo, which is actually a considerable amount. I think that there's a rest place. Is there a rest place here? Actually, I don't think there is. I think there's just a bunch of shortcuts. We're gonna unlock some of the shortcuts. HP. But yeah, I should have put on the thing. Do I wanna... Yeah, okay. So we've got this shortcut activated. And I think we're gonna go... We're gonna backtrack a little bit. To grab some stuff. Oh, right, yeah, I just came here. Right, we're gonna just uh, try this again. Is that guy in there? Alright, so this was the, the way to the boss. I don't want to go after the boss. We already fought that boss at a massive handicap last time. We don't need to do it with a different type of handicap this time. Alright, so... <clears throat> Though, now that I think about it, maybe there will be a thing in that room. Maybe I should actually... Okay, we're going to explore that room a little better. <clears throat> a little better, just in case there's a... Um, uh, do we want to do it now, or do we want... Yeah, it's going to take forever to get back here with the bonuses. Oh, but we will put on the thing that gives us bonus uh, geo. We don't need this boulder shell thing. The, the boulder, boulder shell thing isn't actually that great, so... If we can find something to give us a bunch of money, that'll actually be really helpful. And we can then uh, basically pick up a bunch of like charm slots as well as pick up the range increasing charms. And we should be able to just sort of skip past most of this stuff. These guys are kind of a nuisance to deal with. But this is as good a place as I need to fight him. There. We do get quite a lot of money off of these things. We don't even have to chase down the Geo. 
Yeah, I think I much prefer the setup that I've got this time versus the previous time. And so we should be able to get to where the boss is very rapidly, but we're not going to actually go after the boss. We're just gonna... We're just gonna get to it. Take a look, see what kind of cool stuff is here. So there's this big room where we've got there we go. Got a bunch of mages to deal with. We're just gonna deal with them one by one. Oh, you know what I could be doing? I completely forgot that I even had this ability. There. Because this actually gives me a huge amount of extra range with without having the range increases. And the amount of damage it'll do is very significant. It's a very sizable damage buff. So... Easy peasy. Okay, so... Is that it? We... we might, yeah, I think that we might need to uh, take out the boss to get to any of the secret stuff in here. Oh, maybe not. Ouch. There's <laughs> a guy right there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, am I glad that I have the... I guess I could have just used the nuke to take them all out. Spell Twister? Did I even get this last time? Am I just that bad at identifying when secrets are around? Oh, there are secrets nearby. Yep, I'm just a dope. So I think that I actually missed that last time. And I don't think... Yeah, there's no reason to be here unless I want to fight the boss. And I definitely don't want to fight the boss right now, because I've got the, uh, finger. So I can skip this room. I don't think I'll have too much difficulty with the boss. I'm hitting twice as hard, and I'm going to be you know, quite practiced at the boss when I go into it. So, so I think that I should be fine. Let's take a look here. We don't need to go there at all. That's it. We're just going straight down. And it looks like these things, well, those little guys respawn, the others do not appear to. And it looks like we have another room that we did not explore to the southeast, so we'll go there. And get that done. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we came up through that bottom at some point, and now we're going to go over here. Ah! Okay, so we can't actually go through there because there's a. There's a door. It's funny because we came through here completely backward the last time. I'm going to check the bottom of this. So we did actually get this done. <clears throat> okay. 
so we made it back to here. We've got 700 Geo, which is quite a lot. It's a pretty decent value. Interesting. Yes, because we go through the... One side, to reach the other side. Right, so we're going to come through here. We'll fight our way through. Just to make sure that we're getting all the delicious Geo that we need. So it goes, what do we get down there? So that goes down to the fungal waste, which we don't need to do the fungal waste, I don't think. Oops. so that's much easier to deal with. No spear for you. Okay. That one's dead. Okay, so, did we actually go over here? Okay, that's, not <laughs> that's not what we need. Let's go ahead and heal up. Okay, so that's not the place we were up. We're very, very good at this game. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything in that little enclave. We'll pop up here, and this just leads to the Forgotten Crossroads. Oh, which actually, this might be faster. Forgotten Crossroads leads to right next to it. So yeah, well, this is faster probably than going through the that whole animation. Oh. Do. I wish I could fly. It would make my life a lot easier. Right, so I guess I don't wish I could fly because that would make my life a lot easier. <laughs> Making things easier on myself is not really my thing. So we got 852, which is not a huge amount, honestly, because we tend to just go in and mass buy things, but we will we'll probably only be able to buy a couple of key things instead of being able to buy out the whole store like we were doing early in the game. When we, first, when we started the first time, we really missed a lot of stuff in terms of, like, the actual... We didn't have access to any of the stores because we just forgot to get access to it. Or didn't forget to, but we avoided going in here, for instance, because we didn't want to fight that, you know, that mosquito. Which meant we didn't get access to the primary shop and we didn't get access to this charm shop either. But we were supposed to. So. Hello! So, this is the long nail. Let's quick focus. So this would actually reduce the amount of time it takes to focus. I thought that there, I thought that there were two of these. I'm gonna pick up heavy body. I'm gonna pick up the charm notch. Yeah, so we picked up the first charm notch, the second one. I need five more charms to be able to pick up the next notch. You don't need thorns of agony. Oh, that's only one. Reflecting the desires of souls and reduces the soul cost of casting spells. That's actually interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so we got the long nail. 
Now we need to figure out what we want as our... So I guess we're doing Thorn of Agony for a while. <clears throat> I don't want to put the fragile thing on because it's fragile and I'm planning on uh, exploring dangerous locations. So we found, I think we found some of that ore while we were in the depths. I'm wondering if we want to go fight that boss now. Because we now have the long nail. The thing is, I don't know where the other one is. I thought there were two of them. I just don't know what gave me access to the other one. So let's see here. I don't have the tram card because that was in the depths. So that's really funny though. I, like the degree of sequence breaking that we did is a little ridiculous in our previous playthrough. <laughs> Because we legit didn't really go to this city until after we had finished the, you know, horrific monstrosity that was that post-Mantis plays. So, this one's a lot. I'm gonna go to Dirtmouth. To so pronounce Dirtmouth. Hard to say. It's weird also that we we got a new cutscene that we didn't get the last time with uh, that person. So she's here now. Oh my god, she just blushed. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it's funny because I can't talk to her. I can't talk to her, but... There's actually an interaction there that I didn't notice the last time. Let's see if she has a new thing in her diary. A sudden calm why? A presence, a figure close behind. She doesn't dare look, doesn't dare move. Fearful the slightest action would break the spell. She knew the presence as her bed, knew the calm only they could bring. Her white savior now protect us, standing tall beside, powerful, perfect. I particularly like the standing tall, considering that we are about a third of her height. <laughs> She's so much taller than us. Alright, so we can buy a simple key from him, but we can't right now. And do we want... Actually, before we go into the depths, I think we're going to go into that place that has a lock in the city. So give me a second to figure out how to get there. So City of Tears, we need to get to the bottom. So we just need to go out and then just start jumping down. We will also conveniently be going right by the... Oh, that's awesome! There's so much little details that they do with her. So when I approach, when she first gets on the screen, she's looking my direction. And then she stops looking my direction as soon as I get close to her. Like, oh, me? No, I wasn't looking at you. I don't know what you're talking about. Why would you think I was looking at you? There's nothing special about you. Right, so we're dropping down here. And we should have a slight... Oh, whoops. Oh, that's coming here. Uh, we should have a slight bit of advantage over before. It'd be kind of cool to do like a spell casting build at some point, but I 
see the right way to go. I don't think it is. I think it's better to just drop down by the point of waist and then keep going down from there. So... Yeah, once I get the second range upgrade, that'll actually help us a lot. Oh, you know what it might be? Did I? Did I talk to the charm person? I think I did. I think I did. I did exit out and talk to them again. But maybe I didn't. Because I think that it might be that the you have to sort of reset the... No. All right, so I don't think... I cannot get down that way. Hey, friend. The city looks to be built into an enormous cavern, and the rain pours down the cracks into the st stone above. There must be a lot of water up there somewhere. I suppose if the roof, cave roof stayed strong this long, it should hold for us. Before I leave this kingdom, I'd like to see where that water comes from. What a sight it must be. Yeah, it's such a cool idea, just like descending through like kind of like a Dark Souls style city that's just full of bugs. Because I feel like it actually works really well. Because like this sort of dark atmosphere is very reminiscent of just being underground and just having the actual thing be oh yeah you're a bug you're under in an underground bug city and that's why everything looks the way that it does i just think that's a cool dynamic three hits for you What's, re what's gonna get really funny is I'm gonna come back to my other file, and then I'm gonna have my weak, pathetic weapon again. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to use that. But I should be able, on my other file, to sort of easily... Uh, just sort of jump in and grab the stuff. I probably can just triple the attack power of my weapon instantaneously. So we're going to use the simple key. We're not going to use the simple key to unlock that NPC, because as far as I can tell, that NPC is very unlikely to be useful to me. It's probably something with, like, getting your souls back. So we're in the Royal Waterways. That thing is probably too cute to kill. And we opened up a secret. We got 460 Geo. Hey, there's a person here. Hmm, don't take something if it isn't yours. That's the law. Everything you see, it belongs to me. Don't be angry. I'll share my food with you if you give me Geo. Sure, what's food going to do for me? Hmm, this Geo is mine now. Don't try to take it back. Here, take your food when you when you leave. Hey, it's Rancid Egg. So what's the Rancid Egg do? Just buy more. So is it all just going to be rancid eggs? So it looks like I can purchase rancid eggs here. Now the question is, what are they for? Because there was the person who was eating, and that's this obvious person you would give food to, but I don't think she eats rancid eggs. There was no indication that I could give eggs to her earlier. I mean, this place is a lot less frightening than I remember it being. <laughs> Especially when you factor in that you can go in the water. 
Oh, there we go. I remember those guys. So those guys, when you hit them, they swap to jumping or something? Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, and of course, they would have taken like eight hits to kill before, so that explains why. Yeah, that would have taken quite a lot of energy to deal with before. I think I was probably just low on HP, and that's why. I was more concerned what I went through here. Because this, this place isn't that bad. So this is the place that I just came from. So we've circled around this whole area. But yeah, we actually might be able to... <sighs> no, nah, we're not going to be able to... I was thinking we might be able to beat the game while we're out overseas, but that's probably not terribly likely. Yeah, these things are going to be a lot less terrifying, considering that I can actually kill them in a timely manner. There we go. Yeah, this, this was definitely a place where I was like, I feel like I should have a much stronger weapon here. And now that I have the stronger weapon, it's like, yeah, this is this is all fine. Oops, I'm an idiot. What the fuck? Well, so much for those being cute. And also they killed themselves. So, where is my friend? So now we know how those cutesy things work, is that when you come into contact with them, they kind of just explode outward. Unfortunately, I think I just fell down a hole that I'm not going to be able to easily get out of. I can't just climb back out of there, but we did get a thing out of it. So if we can find the thing that the blacksmith needs, then we'll be in okay shape. So this gives me a rancid egg. What is up with these rancid eggs? Who, who wants a rancid egg? Presumably somebody wants to eat them, but... Ew. So that might be... this. Okay. There are advantages to being, like... You know... Barely separated from my monitor. I keep seeing the trail toward this guy. I feel like this has to be a boss fight, right? Nope, apparently not. So we're going over here. Ah, got it. Okay, so he's over this way. Oh, so even if you just get it too close to them, they'll actually do that. Okay, so we're going to go to the left. Hey, we found the guy. So if I stand up there, that'll shatter, I assume. 
Oh shit, I'm an idiot. These things have such a cool design, by the way. They're so cool. I love it. Uh, so, how do I get to the dude? No, I think I did. I did. I think I did fight a few of these before. So, how do I get to you? So if I hit that, it'll get big. Okay. Need to just clear some of this. So how do I get to you? Because all of this, as far as I can tell, is this looks like it should should open, but it doesn't. So, I don't... I don't know how to do this. So we can try going up, because I don't know if we'll be able to get up there. But I, I have a suspicion that I don't know if I'll be able to actually get up there. I think this might be a no-go. Try going around. Oh shit. Didn't get far enough back. Yeah, this this place isn't so bad. Now now that I've got the improved weapon, this is much more reasonable. Everything was just so you know difficult to deal with when I had that old weapon. So this is just the passage down. How do I get in there? I would have assumed that I get there by the by like breaking this floor or something. And I think in the previous time I came through here, I actually did not even get to him. So I think that what I do have to do is I think I need to get above. And if I can keep going up, that would be good. I don't think I can here. But my goal right now is to basically get above his chamber. And it might be that I need to smash down through the floor somewhere. I think that that's probably it. Oh, crap, I can't go that way. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to just go down. Those things don't even drop to you. Three. 
already got this. Oops, I jumped too high. So we got that. We can smash through the floor there. Which we can't because we don't have the ability to. So this is the exit. So this this is backtracking. Yeah, these are not too bad. It looks like they do fall off the screen, and if they fall off the screen, then they are not going to get I can't nab them. So, if we can get up... If I can get up high enough, can I get to where I need to be? I think this just goes to... Yeah, this just goes to here. So I think that this is pretty much a dead end right now. Until I get the stomp. So I had hoped that I'd be able to pick up like a smithing thing or something like that in here, but it doesn't look like that it's going to happen. If I gone down here, holy oh, shit. I think I have, right? Pretty sure that I did explore this place, but maybe not. I did not explore this place. Perfect. So we've got another ant egg here. We'll grab this. And then So that thing looks like it has pretty much perfect tracking. So once it's been activated, it's gonna be able to track me no matter where I go. Though I think it's the aggroed now. So if you do go ridiculously far away. Technically shake it. Okay, do I want to go down now or do I want to continue exploring? I think I want to go down first. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, do I have the ability? Nope. Okay. So that's too hot. Can't go in there. So we've gotten over 500, which means that if we wanted, uh, we could pick up another charm slot. We're gonna to want to do that eventually, but we don't need to do it right this second.
So we already did this. person around here somewhere. Did I actually go in here? I don't even know that I went in here. This is clearly a boss chamber. I don't know if I did this the last time. Nope. The Dung Defender. So this guy... Okay, so... That's good to know. Shit. What? I wasn't expecting that. I guess I should be charging up. Throw two. Okay. This is such a cool boss. He yeah, unfortunately I interrupted my oath. Oh shit. This is so cool. Okay, so first try. Not a very not a very difficult boss. His attacks are pretty predictable. We got a defender's crest. I wonder what that does. Did that drain water? 
from somewhere? So that that is some sort of water thing. Five minutes. Ugh. So, oh, come on. we're back in the city of tears. So, my guess, yeah, all right. So, we're on this side of the city of tears now. So. We should have a door that we can open here. Yep, there it is. So we've now gotten to the other side of the waterway. I don't know what effect that has had. Oops. We one more, so that's good. So I think we're gonna probably uh, go grab the dude now. Let's see here. Where is my map? So I think we're going to go... We're going to go to the... Uh, the charm person. Oh, is there only one? Okay, but for some reason I thought I could go further north or further up. Uh, and instead, not this way. We're going to keep going up. We've got 613 geo, which means that we can afford to do certain things that we would like to do. So we can either increase the amount of charms that we have, or if there is, if that charm is now available that increases the range of the weapon, then we can equip that. And I think that would help a lot. Because just having extra range over the enemies just makes a huge difference. So. Well, that's funny, actually, that we just kind of bypassed that boss completely in the previous run through the area. I, can't, I was kind of cowardly, now that I think about it, the last time I... Like, when I was playing this on my primary file. Because I had no idea where I was over there. And I didn't have a uh, map. So I wasn't taking any risks. Just need to get back to the... Keeps. Should we go up this way? It takes quite a while. So we can get our map. We can also take a look at this thing. What is this? Unique charm, da da da. Cause the bearer to emit a heroic odor. Okay. That's interesting. 
So that's... I mean, it makes sense. I did get it off of a dung beetle, but... I'm not sure how useful a heroic odor is going to be. I'm just gonna pop up. Pop up here. Get what we're going for. Buddy. So we're popping over to the Forgotten Crossroads. And from there. We just have to southeast, is it? Down to the right. So we go all the way down. And to the right. So this will allow us to hopefully get ourselves in good order. So yeah, it definitely looks like that thing is not here. So we're just going to get this instead. And So, we now have the ability to put two of these on. So I could put Spell Twister on, I think this might be what we want. I think Soul Catcher is probably not quite as valuable. Fragile Strength might be really interesting as I get more and more stuff. But I think that this is actually going to be it for today. It's been about an hour. That's what we're going to try to be doing for recording. And so that's going to be it for today. So next time we will try to explore some more and do some more business. Uh, I do apologize for the uh, lack of live streams lately. Um, I was hoping to be able to do more live streaming. I was also hoping to be able to get to my normal file, but I wasn't able to do so. So I feel kind of dopey because the file just wasn't updated. I needed, I needed to have synced the the files uh, manually before I left, and I just didn't because I'm a dope. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you everyone for watching. It has been a pleasure to stream for you today. Uh, I guess record for you today. And I'll hope to see you again next time.